And if you want to edit your, your memories, we recommend actually going to, to a hard drive. So whether you have a Mac or PC, um, we, we would put them on a hard drive. And if you had a Mac, we would put them into a QuickTime format, um, which is the highest quality, most compatible format for editing on the Mac. If you're using a PC, we would put them um, into the AVI file format. Um, and these hard drives are great. They're your, these are the ones we sell. We sell also the larger ones, but these ones are one terabyte. That's a hundred. No, that's a thousand gigabytes. It stores about eighty hours of uncompressed video, and uh, you just plug this in, and, and you're off in editing in your um, your editing application. Um, they're USB three, so they're about ten times as fast, ten times faster than USB two. Uh, we sell them for like a hundred bucks. I think they're one oh nine right now. Um, the other ones we sell are the three terabyte. I think those are 149, and those are going to hold three times as much data. Um, but video to hard drive is great if you want to edit, because um, you just, like I said, you plug it in. You can open up uh, Adobe Premiere Elements for the PC or iMovie for the Mac. Go we'll file, import footage. You're going to access the E drive or whatever drive your hard drive is, um, and it's, you're going to say, "Yeah, I want video number one." It's going to slap it down on your timeline. You can cut. Um, delete scenes, make a nice transitions, a title, add some music. Maybe you want to consolidate all the birthdays to one or the Christmases or maybe it's sports, I mean, it's all soccer footage on, on one uh, DVD because you know when you're working from a hard drive you're working with the top quality so that's why we recommend it. It's 25 megabytes per second compared to like four to nine depending on how much how long your video was and it's it's not the type of file that we put on the DVDs that uses MPEG-2 compression. Well, these are uncompressed AVIs in QuickTime. So it's, it's, it's really high quality. You can edit this, the footage from your hard drive, re-output a new QuickTime, edit that footage, re-output a new QuickTime. You could do that over and over, tens, twenties, thirty times, and you wouldn't see any degradation or, or quality loss. Um, some companies I see on the net, they, uh, they, they're just set up to go to DVD basically. They don't, you know, they don't offer any other services. And they'll tell you that you can edit those DVDs because they're digital and nothing could be further from the truth. Because the DVDs are great, like I said, for playing on a TV through a DVD or Blu-ray player, but they're closed lock discs. And not only the, the closed discs, you, you, can't, uh, you can't really edit the footage because it's not only is it compressed, lower quality, it's just VOB fo files inside a video TS folder. And even if you were to drag those VOB files and put them down in your timeline, in between them you'll see like a gap. The audio, will, there'll be a gap. So it won't, and then as you go down that timeline, we found that it just loses sync. So we don't recommend it. Um, and even if you did find a way to work around that and rip the footage and you had a nice workflow, it's still a compressed image. So even though it's good to watch on a TV, it's going to look good. Um, as you edit a compressed image, and then let's say you make a new DVD, now you've went down two generations from that videotape, and you're thinking, boy, I don't, it's digital, right? It should be good. But it's, it's compressed, and then it's recompressed. So we recommend the hard drive if you want to do any editing. But uh, like this client, she actually wanted something to watch now and hand out as gifts, and she wanted something to edit later. So she went with both. She went with the video to DVD, she went with the, uh, the golds, and she went with everything on a hard drive. So, um, you know, and I can give you discounts on that. So, um, you know, with the, we are not only give you a volume discount for over 10 tapes, but if you get two different outputs, we give an additional discount on that second output. Um, sometimes it's, it's significant. So give me a call. Um, let, you know, let me know what you want to do. We have order forms on our web pages. If you go to video to DVD transfer, there's an order form within the page. Um, and also under the order form section uh, on the side. Um, we have very economical pricing. Um, you know, the benefits come in here at Audio Video Workshop is every staff member has a, a degree in this field, uh, in video, uh, film, and audio. Uh, this is what we went to school for, and this is what we've been doing. This is our profession. I've been doing this for about 11 years. In this particular, I had my own, another business for two years before that. Um, and the, the guy I bought the business from was in business under Euro, the name Eurovideo Euro Video for 17 years. So we uh, expanded all those services and, and um, really are, are a one-stop shop. And um, 
your stuff is safe here. We've never lost a master in memory. It's, it's a smaller shop, um, quality focused, customer service. Um, it's what you can expect here. Um, you know, we use the best decks um, and um, we care about our, our customers and, and our projects. So uh, that's a little bit about DVD transfer and hard drive transfer. Hit me up on an email, contact us on the form there, um, give us a call. Uh, we've been doing this a long time. We know what we're doing and um, we look forward to working with you. And uh, thanks for clicking on AV Workshop.